Welcome back to the Shenanigans Podcast. My name is Tristan, the master of falsetto. Sartoris. Here we have Drew Decker, the expert at life. That's me. The board game, I not the world. The expert and of all things life. <laughs> so The game. Today, watch this, watch this. Okay, we, I'm actually, ready. We, I'm watching. We're learning. Yes. In today's episode, we will be talking about... We don't know exactly. Okay. <laughs> uh, probably, uh, me, oh, we always talk. Um, we always cover the Browns. We yeah, always. I've got Drew, Drew as a movie review. Movie I'll review you. Daredevil on Netflix Daredevil. without spoilers All for you that's spoilers. not seen it. All of them. Um, some game stuff. Not much. Um, we really did scrap the life update because we because nothing happened. You want to know what happened? We spent the entire week hanging out. Doing nothing, playing games. Because we're best friends. And that's what happens. You play a lot of them. When you're best friends, you know, things... You play games. You play Sly <laughs> Cooper. You play Rocket League for hours on end. Just, all just day. Grinding. You steal mattresses just, in the dead of night. That's true. We, we stole a mattress. So, that is what the episode beholds later and whenever or yes. right now. If you want right to go now. into your just movie review, well, if we'll go right into it. Because oh. we don't know exactly how we're going to continue this. Yeah. Um, 50 minutes, goodness. We probably won't get there. Jeez. <laughs> we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so last night I went out with a friend and we watched A Star is Born. Uh, is Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was good. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Um, if you like music and you like passion. You like and- passion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. If you really like music, it's a good movie for you. Um, but it's, st- it's it looked like it had a good story though. It did have a good story. All right. So I can't really even if you weren't like, like the... oh, I love the music business or something like yeah, that. It, it would, I, would you'd would, still be interested? Yes. Yes. All right. So without spoilers, you're um out of ten bomb dot com. Uh, out of ten bomb dot com. I'd give it take everything into consideration right here. Nine. But it is Holy rated R. Holy crap! It's rated R, so if you have children, I would not advise seeing it. There are some scenes that are indecent at times. Oh my gosh. But... Is that um, the only reason it's not a 10? Yeah. Dang, man. Big, there, high some, praise. Yeah, it, High it praise a for movie. A Star is Born. I, I really liked it. But then again, I also love music, and my life is pretty much filled with music. So he hears sounds. I do everywhere. hear sounds that he loves I turn music. into music. He loves movies. I love music. That's how we do it on the Shenanigans podcast. We jump right into it. <laughs> yeah. Drew gives you a quick, Get right in hot, there. fiery review. <laughs> um, I don't know if I, if I have any questions or questions that would lead to Question. spoilers. Yeah. I've already. It's I, it's a movie that you have to just watch because if I said anything, it would spoil take away a from lot of your it. experience. Yeah. Okay. Well, yes, I don't know what you want to go into the Browns. We got a lot of Browns to cover Browns? real quick because this is how we do it. We're experts now. Yes. Master of the world. We are so, the experts of the podcast. To recap, to recap, the Browns. Wow, we usually do this at the end of the podcast. We've never done anything this early. Whoa. We usually ramble crazy. on for a- hours on end. like going into things we're actually efficient and weird and hitting them correctly as the way we need to do that yeah well we don't it's we don't know what we're Mm. doing what is this it's episode 11 oh Oh! whoa 10 and 11 (laughs) (laughs) the big one one (laughs) (laughs) all right wait we need to discuss the titling on this one too Mm. real quick before i go into the browns okay what do you got title yes we could call it true blood so Cause it's eleven. <laughs> that was the number, right? Yeah. Um, Carson I don't think Wentz. many people would get that though. Well, I don't think they have to get it. They're like, "Whoa, what's Drew doing? He bled <laughs> out." All right, what do you got? What do you got? Uh, I'm, see, I'm throwing stuff 11, at the table. Episode eleven. Uh, the the great return. Uno, no, uno. we already returned. Uno uno. Uno, uno. Um, the, the Great Return. We've already done like three of those episodes off our hiatus. Yes, yes, yes. Hiatus. 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 Um, yeah. What do you got? You got anything for that? The masters of podcasting. 
podcast the masters <laughs> i feel like we could title any episode the exactly. master uh, episode 11 we the will, boys maybe we'll discuss this strong. later on after we've already <laughs> the boys are strong <laughs> after we've covered everything and then we can decide because i don't know what we're going to get to and what we're not i've tried to tease it but you know what we, we tend just, to we, we tend it, to ramble it's it's just who we are so sunday it's <laughs> tuesday right now for this those Tuesday. of you that don't know what day it is Every for you, Tuesday. oh, wait, I mean, you could be listening to this on a, a different day. It, 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 mm, you should be listening to it on Tuesday. Yeah, you should be listening to this the second it's released. If you're not listening to it the second it comes out, you're not a real fan. Oh, fake fans. Fake In fans. In the chat. Everywhere. So, recap, Sunday, the Cleveland Browns versus Best the Atlanta ever. Falcons. Versus. Worst team ever. Yep. <laughs> no, they're actually, their offense yeah. has been really hot. The But this game... The two two um, NFL or primetime like big analysts called the Atlanta Falcons a lock. If there was one game, really, if there was one team that you could count really? on for sure to bet on that they knew for sure was going to win. They called the That's Atlanta crazy. Falcons. I think it was Brady Quinn too. Was one oh, of them. No. Yeah, <laughs> an old quarterback from oh, Cleveland. No. And you know what Baker Mayfield and company said? What would they say? Nay, nay. We came out hot firing. Baker was we he was he was twelve for twelve at one point. We've got the key to the game. We were literally just it, we had our way with him. You know when you have like when you can feel the momentum and you're like, heck yeah, dude. they're winning this game. They're they're All like the time. they're in every aspect of the game. We feel like we're overpowering them. And Great. all right, here's 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 oh, right, so what the final score was twenty eight sixteen twenty eight sixteen, and that was only because they scored as we were trying to run the timeout. Mm-hmm. We we're just like yeah, whatever. But, okay, so Baker had a 151.3 passer rating, Jeez. which is the QB rookie record when you're throwing, like, 20 attempts or more. It's crazy. Because anyone could throw, like, just one pass and have, like, a 158.3. Yeah. Like, to play a full game like that. The rookie record! And we come in and we stop the team that people think are a lock, lock. and we beat them down, and then Nick Chubb <laughs> breaks the franchise record on a 92-yard yeah, touchdown. Scree! Scree! So two rookies set records oh, yeah. in that day. Higgins was doing it. Duke was catching it. Mm, mm, it just felt. Mm. It felt we were just we were just we killing were it on grooving. all aspects, all moving facets. Moving and grooving, just like my tissue, Joe. I mean Baker had. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but always grooving. So he had three touchdowns and three incompletions. As many incompletions as he had touchdowns. It's insane. That's crazy. And oh, did you know we had no sacks? Did we talk I about did. that? I did know that. No freaking sacks. No sacks Not one. All. I don't think they even got a hand on him. That's insane. The only one that I remember they get, get, getting close was that first touchdown pass where they come up the middle. A mm-hmm. guy, um, Jarrett, Grady Jarrett, he breaks free, whoever. And there's two people coming for his face, and he scrambles out right, slings yes. it 30 yards downfield to Higgins. Sure. Touchdown. Tutty. And how about TJ Carey on Julio? Dude. He was locked down. I know Julio had like 100 yards and a touchdown, but most of that came in like zone coverage. Yeah. I went and watched the tape last night. I'm Hugh Jackson. I'm Hugh Jackson. I, I, I watched the tape. Oh, no. We're not Hugh Jackson. Never be Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson. But a lot of the only like <laughs> big plays that he got all that, ch- that chunk of change from was when he wasn't on man on man. Kerry was, I don't know if he allowed a catch. Maybe one, but like the touchdown yeah. deflection, another one, and you see Julio get heated, and TJ Carey gets up in his face, and he was like, "Give it to me again, give it to me yeah. again," <laughs> and they try, and it just doesn't work. It was They're so just, cool. Oh. It was look like TJ oh. Carey hasn't been great, but now if he's coming into his own or yeah. something like that, I'll, I'll respect that. Yeah, give me something like that Before because that's crazy. This game, like he wasn't really out there striving. No, he know? was like, like he oh, was, he's a slot corner. Yeah, he's gonna do something else, and he's. He'll be okay in the slot. And then, but he to put him one on one on this game to give that him Julio Jeez. and then put Denzel Ward on Calvin Ridley, who also oh. did nothing. Oh, oh no, no, he did get Julio did get one catch. It was a little like one yard, and Julio tried to turn up field and got tackled yeah. like TJ Carey. It was awesome. Jabril with a monster smash hit on the one yard line was another <laughs> high line moment. They're literally they're just trying to like get some points on the. It's already like twenty eight ten. They just want to get some points, and then Jabril, Jabril sits him called. down. Just lays the boom a normal like when he got all the way past the line and it's when you're stumbling they always stumble in the end yeah. zone here comes our strong safety jabril who <laughs> lays a brick wall and kevin coleman meets the earth like oh he never has gosh. before he was rocked i was like goodness gracious how did you do that he just he 
got blown up. Yeah, Jabril. I thought. I feel like Jabril's playing way better, and he's all he, like he's he's been getting better the yeah. entire year. The only he gave up a touchdown, but that's only because he went to play for the ball instead of the tackle. Maybe he thought he was in the end zone. I don't know. But he's been playing really good. Really good. Oh my goodness, that was really. phenomenal. I can't remember if there's any more. Highlight. It's great to have Joe Schober back. Demarius mm. Randall, they're all beasts. Joe's the show. I mean, you can't. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. So now we have a bye week for oh, the Browns. So what are we uh, going to do next week? I pretzel. don't know. Zettler. Zettel? Yeah. Dude. He was yeah, from too. I think he's from the Lions. We got him in preseason or something. He hasn't played. Greg Williams, like he's done great in uh, well, this game. Yeah. Before, it's Miles Garrett has played so many snaps. He's been mm-hmm. exhausted in by the third quarter. That we actually we started rotating all our defensive linemen like we should, and you saw the pressure. Matt Ryan was it? We weren't was, really getting the sacks, but yeah, we were definitely we were in his face, there. like every play. It felt awesome. It was great. You talk about Freddie Kitchens running the wishbone formation yeah. like he teased in his press conferences earlier. I was like, okay, wishbone. Yeah, so it's just great because you have you have Duke, you have Nick Chubb, and you have Dontrell Hilliard. We should probably, you could probably put Jabril on there just for like a play, uh, for like a trick play or something like that. I would like to see him on there you sometime. See him up there. Maybe we'll do it next year when it really matters because we know that he has that potential. Mm-hmm. But he's a strong safety solely right now. Yeah. Yeah. Freddie Kitchens killed it with on everything like that one when we stopped him on the one yard line with Jabril. You run a play action mm-hmm. on the one yard line and then talk about Baker's confidence just sitting yeah. in there in the end zone slings it to Callaway boom boom get out of the end zone and like 20 yards that was huge Great. that was huge I think that's all I have to talk about the Browns Browns we almost got to go to that game which almost. would have been cool My, but yeah we couldn't there was, two that, tickets. there was no vehicles there was only two tickets for Drew and yeah, it just didn't work out. It's, yeah, it's my okay. my aunt calls not calls, she texts right like an hour or two before the game. Oh. She's like, Oh, her neighbor has tickets, season tickets and she can't go and then I'm like, oh, she, oh, <laughs> of all the games and then they win and then yeah. Oh, it would have been so sick. And there were club seats. The one time. Oh my gosh. I should have went to so the club sad. seats. So that's the Browns recap. Beep, beep, beep. Beep. The recap. Everyone loves the Browns recap because that's what we what do are they here. Now? Three, six, and one. Three, six, and one. We are three, six, and one. Three games. We can win. Their next games are Cincinnati, easy, Houston, and mm. Carolina. I think. They're decent battles. Maybe we can f- pull in some trap games or something like that. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, okay. I mean, if Baker plays like that, if Baker is playing like he's not missing playing. passes, and Colin Coward, I watched the Colin Coward, and he, cre- oh yeah, did he say anything? He credited it. He's like, I always said Baker could be good if he had pieces. He's calling the Browns the most stable place. Like, oh, they got the best receivers and running backs in the league what? and the great offensive line. What? Of course, you can be successful. Like, stuff like that. What? Like, he's probably the only guy that's going to call the Browns what? the perfect position for a rookie quarterback what? to be in. That's he's... not. I know. I know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. What? He's literally he's just been a hater. crapping on us this whole time. That's all he can do. And I um I don't I don't know what he this what's he what's he gonna silly. yeah this is silly. Colin Coward, you're really you just, just so you're just stupid. like a little child. Just admit you were wrong baby. and move on. I give it up. Oh, dude. And, uh, wait, Monday yeah Monday night it was um last night it was for the Forty ers versus the Giants and mm-hmm. I watched it. It was a good game. Came down to the wire, but early on they I hear like a Baker Mayfield thing. And they're saying, oh, Saquon's a humble leader. Juxtapose. Juxtapose. Okay. I can't read. I need to see the word. Juxtaposed. Yep. We got it. We there got him. There to, the, to the number one overall pick, Baker Mayfield. Which to, they were talking about how Baker's not humble because, mm-hmm. he's, because he said, Oh, I'm feeling. I felt woke up feeling dangerous feeling this dangerous. morning. And then I think Dion and someone else. They were also like, "Wow, yeah. why? Why is this guy so cocky? Like, you win a game, and you're like, oh, I'm so dangerous.' He was just was making a, a joke. joke. He was having fun. Come on, it's wow. Not like you guys never said anything. He's like not. That. Yeah, and Dion was one of the. If he said, if he oh. actually said that, I didn't find the clip yet. But if he said that, he was one of the biggest trash yeah. talkers of the time. Uh, of course, like it. He's, and he wasn't even like trash. He didn't say this to yeah. anyone. He just he said. He was just they, saying. They said. They asked him. They're like, "Hey, how did you feel? Did you feel like you were good? Like you performed really great? Did you, was that something you felt like in warm ups that you were this? You were feeling pretty yeah. good." He's like, "No, I just uh, I, I woke up this morning. And I was feeling dangerous." 
And they're like, you care to elaborate? And he's like, just real dangerous. <laughs> he was just making <laughs> a joke. A joke. Come on. Baker Dangerfield. Are Why you... do you care? Oh, my gosh. He's too cocky. He can't, so he can't do that. That's all Colin oh Coward says gosh. of him anyway. So that's just going to be so even more stupid. fuel. Yeah. What is your deal? Come oh, well. On. Everybody. What's your problem? <laughs> it's Move Baker on. Mayfield. Is he not <laughs> undoubtedly the best he rookie quarterback so far? He proved himself worthy. Yeah. We call him QB1 over here now. QB1. <laughs> because it don't matter at all. He's the best. Yep. So it's we're official. just going to... So I think that's all for the Browns. I had these things in the sports section for so long that, like, official fantasy lineup, the playoff guesses. Now anyone... Could, we could probably guess the playoff and Super Bowl picks pretty easy right now. Yeah. We could... Not pretty easy, but, but I, like, we know Kansas City's going to be there. And Saints, we know... Rams. Saints and Rams are going to be there for sure. In the playoffs. One of those. Um, That's going to be a battle. It's actually th- this next Monday night. It's the Chiefs versus the Rams. Oh, two geez. eight and one. They said it, I think it's the fourth time in history where two teams Jeez. of that record met. Oh, gosh. This that's late. Gonna a, that's going to be a big game. That's going to be a battle, man. Gonna it's going to be a battle. Two high-powered offenses. All their stats are like, like the same. Todd Gurley has a few more yards than Kareem Hunt. And then uh, Patrick Mahomes just has a few more yards than, like, I'm talking like a few. Like, uh, like within 100 or less or something like that. That's and then Jared crazy. Goff, yes. And then, like, I don't It's Dude. It's going to be great. Monday Night Football. Count it. And we're going to, we will we could probably talk about that next episode because the Browns will be on by. <laughs> No, not woo. I guess they're having Bye fun. Week. They're they're probably having fun. They're great. They were celebrating. Um, all right, so I think that's all for the Browns. Browns time. Like, well, that that was our playoff Super Bowl prediction. Yes. Oh wait, you want to take your pick in in, this, in, in the, the Super, Super Bowl? Bowl? Who are you, if you had the bet between who are we thinking? The you got between Chiefs and Rams or between or anybody. I don't. The New England's the only people that have beat the Chiefs, that's and I just true. don't know if anyone's going to get past New England. If if Pittsburgh plays like they did, like they did um, last Thursday, yeah. that they could that could be lethal. Jaguars are nowhere anywhere. They're on the bottom of the NFC yeah. South, yeah. or not South. Um, dang it, where are they? NFC West? No, 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 no. It's the AFC South. Duh. AFC. Panthers, the NFC South. That's why I got tripped up. Yeah, Pac- Jaguars, um, Panthers. No, I'm joking. Okay, but you, you had something really good. Your Super Bowl pick. If you wanted to put that right now, you could still call it. I yeah. feel a good feeling about the Rams this year. The Rams look pretty bad. I don't, I, I don't, th- I don't know if the Saints will get them again. I feel like if the they Rams mean. definitely have the go ahead on this one. I don't. If, I it just, would be great to see the Rams just take because one because I feel like Jared Goff has been stepping up in the QB position and really has been. I, doing yeah, his thing. The team is solid all yeah. around. And so are the, the Saints. The defense also has been balling out hard. And so are the Saints. I just don't know if the Saints are going to be able to beat them twice if they yeah. meet. Both should probably have a first round bye. But, yeah, that, it, it could I, get bad. I feel like Rams, though, is my super. Bowl. Rams for, to represent the NFC? Yes. What about the AFC? The, we know the Chiefs and the Patriots are going to ha- probably have to meet. Uh, Chiefs. Over the Patriots, over Patriots, and they think the Patriots won't beat them twice. Correct. We're taking like the same the same yeah. system right there. So I mean, if it, if a rematch from t- this next Monday, the Chiefs and Rams, and then they face in the Super yes. Bowl, who do you predict wins? I'm still saying Rams all the way. What if the Rams win this Monday? I still feel like they'll get them. You think they'll get them twice? Yeah. So we use the I same. Just, we used really to not like, get them twice for the. Yeah. Championship rounds, but and then for the Super Bowl, Super Bowl. they do get it twice. <laughs> just I'm really I'm looking in. For they the do have a feel. Fans. Here's the problem: I feel like the Chiefs don't have the defense that That's might be able to I, hold yeah, them up because their offense has been really the main part of what they've been. Yeah, they could out. Like they're, they're like outscoring anybody, yes. and they can hang with anyone. It's like their By offense have just been going off, and then the other peop- other teams' offenses have not been stepping up to where they should be and scoring. Yeah. So whenever they miss a score, the Chiefs just come back and just destroy them. Yeah, you get and so then you just get blown out. And but the Rams really, have a great defense. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. And an thinking. offense. So I th- Because they're an overall great team right now. Yes. And the Chiefs, they just have that high-powered offense. Because mm-hmm. their defense hasn't 
really been stepping up much. Like, no. The only thing that they've been doing well is outscoring the other team. Yeah, they're just they're really. I mean, they have they have a defense, but it's not. It's not like the. Great it's not going to be able to hold them up if so. I think uh, especially with Todd Gurley and the way he's been running and catching. Yeah, he's just he's uh, Todd Gurley's been, elite. We are, we all know yeah. it. He's just Nick been Chubb's going better. All. Um, okay, so that's where the shenanigans are representing. We're choosing. The Rams. That's probably why I almost said St. Louis. We that would have felt the bad. The Los Rams. Angeles Rams as our Super Rams. Bowl pick. We should have done that years ago. ago. <laughs> we probably still would have picked the Rams because it was like yeah. week two and they were still two yeah, and oh. Still... Heisman picks. Heisman. I don't even know. I, I don't attention. like. I don't know who's. Everyone wants to say Kyler Murray. Tua Tagovailoa. Tua. I can't ever say his name right. Tagovailoa or something like that. No idea. And then Dwayne Haskins are the main picks. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think it, I th- I think it's going to be Tua. Tua. We'll just say Tua because I don't. I, I feel like. Fun name. Well, and <laughs> they're and they're undefeated, and he he knows yeah. Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota Marcus won the Heisman. Mariota, dude. Yeah, I think I, I think it's going to be huge. Can we talk about that for a second? What the uh, Titans, Titans and the Patriots? The Patriots. They literally they they beat them down. The I didn't watch the game, but I heard and i saw like the recap I was yeah. like, goodness man they just ran all over him the Derek defense henry went out and played hard the defense shut them down yeah. right they, up front their defense was it was insane. something to be not something to be trifled with no <laughs> it was i mean it's hard to shut down tom brady yeah. and the patriots i don't was, know yeah that was big that's a big game for them because i was like oh they already know they're mm-hmm. gonna win that game but um and Tom Brady caught a pass, right? Yeah, yeah but I he didn't, didn't even get the first down. Oh, Tommy boy, why do you he do this? He had a second chance at getting it, and he just missed it. <laughs> he missed it. Oh, Tom, why do you do this, man? He he did it where like did he you turned around, around yeah. to catch the ball, and then when he turned so he around, opens he stumbled. Up. He and opens fell. up. Oh, on the one yard? <laughs> no. Close to it? Close, did he get anywhere close? Close to the first. Well, that's good enough for you. <laughs> like inches. But. Yeah. All right. Well, good work. So yeah, Why? if the Titans, I mean, if the Titans keep that up, who knows? Yeah, we're st- we're still going with the Rams here. Rams. We're still going with Tua for our Heisman. Yes, I don't have time. I don't have their stats in front of me, but I I know that Tua is a leader. I know that Dwayne Haskins has done great and he has great stats. But I feel like because of our losses mm. and certain play, it feels like I don't I don't know, but it feels like he probably because he's de- he's going for the draft. I feel like he's already be- being a little more careful and taking off yeah. or something like that. It's hard to explain. And then Kyler Murray, he's also done great. He's got great yards and records. And I mean, it's possible with two Heisman winners from Oklahoma, that would be crazy. That'd but be we're going for Tua right now. Tua. I would love Dwayne Haskins to win it, but Tua. Tua. That's what we say. So that's all from the sports section. Yeah, so that's what we do. We said we were going to talk about the movie, we said we were going to talk about sports. Now, Boom. we're going to talk about Daredevil, Daredevil Season 3. You did not see this, right? Nope. So I you... saw Season 1, and then I stopped. Yeah. You didn't watch Season 2? Nope. At all? Nope. So because I w- avoid spoilers? Because when I was watching, I was eating, Yes. and it was very gross and disturbing on the first season while I was eating, and Oh I my gosh. Like, mm, yeah, if you remember the right car, a car door scene, that scene? At, uh, also, there was a scene with fingernails. Oh. <sighs> And jabbing uh, sticks up ooh, there. Ooh. And that, well, graphic. Too graphic. Too graphic for the Shenanigans podcast. It was nasty, and I just I, I stopped watching it. Cause I was Wait, eating. you didn't finish the season one? Did you not finish? No, I finished it. I oh. just mean, like, after that, I, oh, just, okay. I couldn't do it anymore. So are you not going to watch season three? I will probably try and watch season two and then season three, yes. All right, so I will not spoil anything. But right now... Just thinking about it makes me kind of sick because I was eating at the time and you never <laughs> eat backstory. While. <laughs> never eat while watching um, Daredevil. Daredevil. So Just, that's a heads up for everyone. Daredevil. You, Luke Cage got canceled from Netflix. Sadly, uh, Iron Fist got canceled, and season two was actually people really loved it, and that's <laughs> the one they canceled. And they're like, they they hated season one. And Netflix was like, S- another season for you, and then they're like, yeah, we we love this. Thing. <laughs> it's nah. over now. So then people like Luke Cage, they canceled it. So now it's just Jessica Jones and and Daredevil. But Daredevil Season 3, without spoiling anything, 
Um, did you watch the de- the Defenders though? Mm-mm. Okay, so you got you need to watch season two of Daredevil and, and then the Defenders. Defenders. Okay, because those are linked. Okay. I'm just I, right. but yeah, I don't know how to explain this without spoilers. So I'm just it's it's gonna be very. I'm just, I guess I'll just give a staple, a mm-hmm. little a title review. This season was super fire hot, excellent. Really? So. <laughs> Yes, it's the, you know what the reviews are getting? They're saying they're calling it the Dark Knight of no. superhero TV That's series. Awesome. I mean, I knew it was a good film. It's a, yeah, we knew it was a, a great show. series. People didn't like. I mean, they liked season two is a good, but this one like kicked the doors right. off. Everyone seems to be loving it so far, and it was just awesome. Yeah, ever since that first season came out, though, that was because that was the starting of all Marvel's was, TV uh, thing, and people were like, yes, 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 Daredevil yes, 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 yes. Especially because after the movie they made. Yeah, everyone hated the movie. Yeah, freaking Ben bad. Affleck. <laughs> Not my Batman. Not my Batman. Not my Daredevil. <laughs> you can't even see. Come on. I had a I had a Batman. Daredevil joke, but I can't remember it. He can't see because he's blind. Ooh, shima. <laughs> No, that wasn't it. But it's not important. Yeah. I can't. I actually well, can't I mean, remember. You know, it was. It was from like three days ago. Oh. And I was like, oh. There was, oh, there was something, that something it that had something to do with people with echolocation or something like that. Dolphins of the world. Ooh, Daredevil's a dolphin. <laughs> Daredolphin. <laughs> Hashtag Daredolphin. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the, see, the I, I guess I won't say anymore, I, it, but it's phenomenal. Go watch it. Super fire. Hot excellence. Super That's fire. That's what we give it. I will give it a 9 or 10 out of 10. Dang. Yeah. Well, I like everything, so I'll give most things a 9 see, or 10 out of 10. that was also my problem with the movie review. Cause like, I feel like we're just biased people, you know, because we like almost everything. everything. You could sit, I'm, yeah, you know, you give me something and I'll, I'll, I'll probably enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, I'll love it. And that's that. Those are the facts about that. Those are the facts. Those are the facts. So I guess the Daredevil review was pretty short. It was kind of, I guess it was, so was the movie. The <laughs> we really spent most of this on the sports so far. But yeah, so now you know. You know that, um, what was it? Born. Oh, yeah. I was thinking the fault, the fault in our oh, stars for some also, reason. Also, I didn't know this, but Bradley Cooper directed that film. Oh yeah, also yeah. Also, by in acting, it. yeah, that's crazy. Which was like, did you learn that right at the end insane. of the movie yes. with the credits? You're like, oh my gosh! I did. How did he do that? Also, there's a yeah, that's a impressive. Couple tearjerker moments in there. Oh my gosh! So like the Last crier, of Us. You're a crier. Is it worse than The Last of Us? Yeah. No. Yeah. There's nothing worse than The Last of Us. Okay. Go play maybe The Last not, of Us. Okay, maybe not worse, but... Wow, was, was you cried? Face. Almost. I had a tear. I'm not going to lie. There was a tear on my face. Drew never cries and unless you take his candy. <laughs> I cry all the time. In the shower? Yes. It's oh. my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Inside jokes. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, that we covered Daredevil. We covered the sports. We covered the movie. The movie. <laughs> Basically, I think the last two minutes we've just been talking been about what we, what what we've we covered. Talked. Yeah, we're just we're just podcasters, man. We are podcasters. The podcast doesn't always have to be good, you know. It's like when you're in a band, you know. It doesn't yeah. it doesn't matter if you rock or you bomb. As long as you're in a band, you're already Ooh, cool. You're already the best person that's, out there. Yeah, you're already awesome. That's that's it's the, just facts. Dems the facts. Dems the facts. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. If oh, in, there's okay, also awesome. not for you guys. I mean, unless you did want one, but there are T-shirts going to be made. T-shirt. How cool would that be? So if you see me, also if you do want one, well then we you can, then you can ask and then we'll then we'll find, we'll find a way. But yeah, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, so maybe someone's listening to this because they saw us wearing a super yeah. cool t-shirt. Think about That'd that. Awesome. And they went back to the beginning. They listened to all the episodes. All the episodes. And we've been wearing like these t-shirts. Now. We've been wearing these t-shirts for three years three already. Three freaking years. We're on episode 804. Dude, I can see it now. That's a lot of episodes in a year. <laughs> the future. Whoa. Nothing much. Flying has, cars. Not, not much has changed. The Browns have three Super Bowl Whoa. wins. Holy crap! They're How already they're already calling Baker Mayfield, Heis- I mean uh, another Heisman another winner. Another Heisman winner. <laughs> Hall of Fame. Whoa! Yeah, somehow they snuck into the Super Bowl this year heck? and they beat the How Rams. They, do that? they beat the Rams. I don't know. They won out. That's crazy. Yeah, wild card. Yeah, so basically, yeah, th- we'll use that as marketing. I was actually we've been we try to market this podcast a lot. Um, Everywhere I go into, I, I went into podcast communities. I sent it to people. I put it Check on social out. media stuff. But 
and I, I, I want to go and like say stuff to people like as a joke, yeah. and, like to random people, like, "Hey, check out my podcast." And but I, I don't know where the line mm. is to where I'm like, does, when does it become annoying? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Because but but the thing is that we're not like marketing in a way that we're trying to sell something. But it's we just, are, that, but we don't benefit it from it in any way, because <laughs> yeah, because all we're doing is looking for a chance to entertain more people yes. and just to make more people laugh, because we're not actually making we're money not, from it anyway. Yeah, we're not so getting does, paid. <laughs> it, it's different if they knew that, but they don't. So like, oh, this yeah. guy just wants more. You know, he wants to profit more off. He's just oh. trying to sell me something. But we're not well, like we trying to. S- we're not. We're not trying to benefit. We don't benefit. <laughs> we don't have anything and, except for we just want to make people laugh. Unless you want a T-shirt, then we'll start benefiting. <laughs> we'll, but- <laughs> then we'll benefit, but barely, like four cents. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but yeah, so that's really. I was like, where's the like? What point? At what point does this become annoying? Especially to people that don't know you. Yeah. I think to like family members or something. You're like, oh yeah, okay, sure. Um, you know. That's the, that's the truth. We all, all all we're doing is we're not we're not trying to make money right here. We're just no. we're just trying to make you we're laugh. Just, we're just trying to entertain. Yeah, here. That's all if we're doing. Sports, Put on a show. Come on. We benefit we are, in no way. That's the only reason we're doing this. I've noticed that we are also very sports forward. Uh, especially during the sports yeah. season, the NFL season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> once, but like once the NFL season's done, like what are we gonna do? Definitely be different like we'll start definitely more stuff. that well that's what we say is that we um we cover everything we do we cover, we cover everything. everything and the reason why is because we're trying to spread our horizon we're trying to we're yeah we're trying to we, we're too knowledgeable yeah that's the reason we are very the region. knowledgeable <laughs> <laughs> so it's like what's the word yeah so most podcasts have a niche this is where we're, we're explaining niche. things now a niche or a niche whatever people want to say they have a certain um do you say niche or niche a niche but yeah. i never say either of them so but like they have a certain if I were to, corner they have an audience that they're trying to cater to yes. right they're trying to do things and that's how successful podcasts do it that's right. what that's what they do we don't do any of that so we are nicheless. We are nicheless. <laughs> That's the new title. We have no niches. <laughs> Welcome to nicheless. <laughs> so. Shenanigans now nicheless. <laughs> That's the subtitle. Shenanigans and the little subtitle nicheless. So, because I think the problem is maybe we're too qualified to do this. I think so. Because I we could. So. I'm. I could pick I, one subject and be really oh, good at it. I think easily right now without doing any more research, we could easily put on a 40 minute oh, yeah. about video games or cartoons or movies or sports Dude. without any doubt. We're too overpowered. So, I'm just I'm sorry. So we'd have to have four or five different podcasts just to cover everything we want to say and we like to talk about all this I'm, stuff. I'm so sorry. that's the problem. I think we're just too qualified. We're just too qualified for this <laughs> we've job. Got, we've got too much. We might as well quit now while we're ahead. <laughs> we're too we're too good. And we Crap, can- I died. Well, might as well just die now. <laughs> it's a Super Smash reference. Oh man, I lost the line. <laughs> in Super Smash tournaments, I'll explain real quick. In Super Smash tournaments, when like we'd see people like cry or rage quit if once they die like once and they're st- they're only down one point, they just kill themselves. Not in the real world, but in the game, in the game. they just run off. They're like, oh, okay, I'm already, I already died. Might as well just give up now. <laughs> so we let we. That's just us. Right we, now. we bring that up pretty often. It, yeah. it's just a funny joke. Yeah. So I don't. It's, also an inside joke. So welcome to. The episode, well, not the episode, the the podcast that you really do get everything because we can't spend yeah. five hours a day <laughs> making I mean, five different podcasts. We could technically, but could. <laughs> but sure. but this is where you get yeah. everything. You want everything? This is the pie. This is the this is the, the smorgasbord. Minutia, <clears throat> not minutia. The the extra buffet. The buffet. The yes, buffet you podcast. get everything, and with that, we're going into the video game section. <laughs> We still we still haven't gone to the arcade we wanted to go to. I know, dude. Let's go. Oh, it's a bye week. We, we go this gold. weekend. It's a bye week. <gasps> you, I'm Thanksgiving see? weekend. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Black yeah. Friday. Yeah. No one will be there. No. <laughs> uh, okay. So, dude. for video games, what? That is good. We have to go now. We have to. It's go. just, yeah. I've decided now that we have Thanksgiving to go. Thanksgiving weekend or this weekend? Either weekend. What do you feel? Just like? soon. Sometime. And then we'll, and then we'll review it because that's what we do on the podcast. We review yes. and cover everything. I, just, I also what? really like the old you timey got? feel, dude. I think and, arcades oh. must have been such a nice time to grow dude. up. Where because I there was Troy Baker. If you ever um, what's it called? 
Retro Replay, yes. the show, and they talk about, he says his parents, like, instead of a babysitter, they would drop him off at the arcade with a bag of quarters. And then, so, like, if there was, like, snacks, and you're just at an arcade, just that playing games so for hours, nice. I'm like, that must have been such a nice time to grow up just in. to be there, and just... With all these oh. games and arcades, and the people, yes. and the group, and the community, Especially with the community, like... Like, the kind of, like, the fans, yeah. everyone's fan base, they're talking, you're having fun, I was like, dang, that must have been such a cool place. like, you could just go, not knowing anyone, and make so many friends yeah. just being there. Don't get me wrong, online gaming, and where we're at right now is cool. It's, yeah. But I also like the idea of having a gaming center. Yeah, of, like A public gaming, center. a gaming place. Where you can actually go. Where all these people go. That must have been so cool. And you have, you just have, like, a chocolate milkshake yeah. and some fries or something. We should open up an arcade. Let's do it. Let's, let's do that. Let's so get somehow rich and just make an arcade. Let's just make a lot of things. Yes. Arcades. Arcades. We're going to make t-shirts. We're going to... Well, I mean, that's... <laughs> we make a t-shirt. We are, we are making a t-shirt. You go to t-shirts, then you go to arcades. That's, exactly. That's it's the just, business plan. T-shirts here. <laughs> And they can't see. It. They the, can't see her. He's doing a. He's doing a bar thing. Okay, so the t-shirts are right here, down at the lower bottom, half. <laughs> and then the step up is arcades. What does he say? Let's rise the rise to the bar. Uh, set the bar straight. Uh, set the bar straight. <laughs> set the bar straight. <laughs> it's <laughs> raise raise, raise the, the bar, bar, or set the record straight. Yes. It's not, <laughs> you can't. You <laughs> put them both. Oh! <laughs> there was some. There was a streamer that was doing that. Um, so basically, so we're in the video game section. We're uh, setting the bar. There's straight. no really actually I, setting the bar straight. We are in the video game section. Right <laughs> yeah. <now. laughs> so uh, I don't I don't know if we need sections, but really just more things that we yeah. bounce across to because we're nicheless. We are nicheless. We're, we're nicheless. Just, I'm sorry. It, That's what we're gonna say from now we're, on. We're, we're nicheless, <laughs> and we just cover whatever we want to cover when we cover it. When we cover it, whatever we want to cover. So. I just this was just posted last night because I was trying to look look, look up things and I was just uh, like mm-hmm. not specifically for the podcast but just for just fun. For funsies. Nintendo in Japan there was an ad, a job ad Ooh. for are you ready for this? I'm the excited. Legend of Zelda team. No. For a dungeon creator and not a DLC, a new Legend of Zelda. So now the rumors Wait, it's saying, a new game? The new Legend of Zelda rumored to be Breath of the Wild sequel. <gasps> or something past that, and p- potentially major like a Majora's Mask returns in that, or some somehow something like that, would be insane. We probably wouldn't see it for like a couple years sick. or something like that. But a new Legend of Zelda Ooh. is uh, is most likely on the way already. That's awesome. That's I'm awesome. Excited. Let's go. And and they're, they're just getting their like it's like a they ask for like a dungeon mm-hmm. designer and someone to help with um open dungeon world designer. open world creature design something like that. I like that. So I found and I was like, "Dang, Legend of Zelda!" Because we, if you ever play the Breath of the Wild, we'll, st- we'll we could just focus on this for a second. The Breath of the Wild that game was, was great. amazing. Breath of the Wild. If you haven't played Breath of the Wild, go get yourself so a, a you Switch or a Wii U. It'd be cheaper. Go get Breath of the Wild, dude, and play that because it's long. How many hours? That takes like fifty hours to beat, right, or more? And that's just the main quest. The main quest, there's stories, there's collectibles, there's everything you can quests. do, and you can just live and play dude. and do whatever you want. I need to get back into that. It, it's so good. It's so good. And it's definitely worth it if you were to go yes. buy it. Or you could even rent it if you wanted to. But you'd Dude. want to buy it so you could just keep playing it. It was. It's really fantastic. Awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, because we played that at the beginning of this year in early January. And it was just Dude, that was a one of the greatest though. games ever. That's I can crazy. say that. I haven't played every here. game, but I could say that. And it's definitely, it's, it's way up there. That's phenomenal. Game. Go play Breath of the Wild. We'll say that. Phenomenal. Game. Yeah, and I, I don't want to spoil it now that I just sent you there, so I won't. I won't. I won't say anymore. But here's here's something else I stumbled. Not to, it's a mill mix. Um, mill mix. A little mix between a movie and a game. Ooh. Yeah. They just announced. <laughs> as I was, I was as I was there, I was looking up stuff. Um, I stumbled upon that they are making a Mario Brothers movie, or it doesn't Another one? doesn't say Mario Brothers, a, but I think it's animated. Okay, it's, so not like the not like the old. They're saying it's they, like they're the trying old. to write the past is what okay. this, the title said. I was like, not oh. like the old ones where they're like cartoony and not like yeah. The I think it's I think it's animation. It's, That's what the payload picture was. Okay. but how interesting! That, I hope to try good. and write the I video game to so movie good. shit because every video game that they've made a movie out of has been you know oh, it's been reviewed oh, awful. Ouch! Sorry for the noise. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they're trying to fix. They're trying to finally make the video game movie. 
that does well. And they're great. They're going to put everything. They should. Jack and Daxter has such a great story. So did Ratchet and Clank, but everyone, no one I even went, no one went to go know. see it was the problem. Yeah. I don't know why people hated on that movie. Yeah, I don't even know if they like hated it on so much yeah, that they I, just I liked it. Just that they just no one went to go, go see, see it. it. Yeah, yeah, and maybe they just didn't advertise it well enough or whatever. It was a good movie. It was good, and it could have been even better with like it was very cutscene like the yeah. transitions. But besides that, it was it was great. I loved it. It's so, good. but Jack and Daxter has a sick story yeah, that you Jack don't you don't know all the way yet. But no, I do not because I almost finished one. Yeah, well, he'll go beat him. I'll do it eventually, guys. For the podcast. For the podcast. Do the for the podcast. And then beat Last of Us for the podcast. So many He's games. got so many <laughs> games he's got to beat. Games are fun to beat. Except for me, because I don't want to finish a game, because then I feel sad. Because then you're sad. Exactly. It's like a TV show ending. I can't do that. I don't. I can't move on. See, whenever I start a game. You're in limbo. I don't finish it. And then if I do finish a game, I, I start cry. It all over again. Cry in the shower yeah, after you finish too. the game. Yeah. And they're like, what are you doing in there? I'm crying. Why? <laughs> I beat Breath of the Wild. But <laughs> 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 well, you can play it again. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah, Jack and Daxter has a great story. There's so many potential for movies to be, I mean, games to be turned into movies, like Uncharted will be, but that's like a live action thing. It's just, it's, it's so a great thing. And did we talk about the PS5? Nope. Already that they they're saying like end of 2019 release date. End of 2019. Release date potentially most likely. What the heck? So like right now I was like it's got to be like 2021, 2022. They boosted up I think to get what ahead the of heck? the Xbox. The end of 2019. That's fast. So we'll see something probably by well, we'll have to see something by E3 yeah. next year's E3. Dude, Which, if you don't heck? know, is like the summer event for all games where they release trailers and what stuff and everything. Heck? And they just released the, I think it was, well, it wasn't released, but it was a patent that Sony submitted for a PS5 touchscreen controller. Where not, not like an entire touchscreen controller, like you were playing on your phone or something like that, but the little touchpad, you know, mm-hmm. would be a screen to use stuff. So I was like, that could Whoa. be interesting, but it probably. So kind of like a Switch. It was kind of like the Wii U, controller. like the Wii U uh, controller, that makes it or or like a Switch. The, the the Switch really is like a Wii U gamepad thing, Just, almost. You can take but, off. Yeah, the... which was genius. Yeah, so I don't. If that's gonna, I, I mean, I'd be fine with it. If I just don't want that to be like the focal point of all gameplay. Yeah. And I don't want the controller to cost a lot more because you're gonna yeah. be putting the touch screen on yeah. there, and I don't. It's gonna be distracting. Yeah, yeah, especially yeah, a light shining up in my face while I'm playing. I'm already, can, I'm hope, already off of the idea. You already, you just convinced me. I hate the idea. I hope you can do it. Don't do this, Sony. Stop. If you do it, don't do it. If you do it, make it so you can turn that off <laughs> and just use it as like the touchpad. Yeah. The PS4. Or make it black. Or can I color it? Can I design it? If I can color the screen, then heck yeah, dude. I like the color. I like coloring. I like <laughs> drawing. So, dude, if you make it customizable by yourself. Like, yeah. go for it. Yeah. But, like, if it's just like, going to be, like, the screen And, and don't make it cost more if you're going to do that. Oh, yeah. Don't because be that's stupid. a bummer. It's like, all right, but I don't think it's a good idea, but if, you're gonna, if you want to do it, that's up to you. You can't do it. Just I mean, I, I guess. It's my opinion. Don't do it! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really we're like that. We're in a love-hate relationship right now, so. Yeah. How co- Oh, yeah, we were just talking about um, Jack and Dex, like, the movies. Mm-hmm. We do know that Sly Cooper's getting, like, we talked about their animated series, I think. That's getting closer. And we just started playing through the Sly Cooper yeah. games, like we said. So then we're going to have an even better idea for all the cartoons. It's going to be awesome. Dude, we're in Sly 2 right now. We're in Sly 2, and we're almost through the first thing. And we beat Sly 1 in a day. Drew, Pretty much, yeah. yeah <laughs> Drew came over to get his stuff, and he was like, man, you know what? I miss Sly Cooper. And they were like, you know, we could play Sly Cooper. And so we all booted up Sly Cooper, and he stayed See, for another eight hours. What happened was I packed up, ready to go home. He had his bags in his hands, walking out, and he's like, what? You know the game L- let me, let, let, me ju- let me just say this real quick. I just got to say this off the top of my head. I, just, I miss Sly Cooper. <laughs> I did. It just came off my head, and I was like, you know, that was a good game. I miss it. And Tristan was like, we could play it on PS Now. I was like, I hate you. PS, PS Now. And, and so, then that was it. We we scammed. We made we made fake accounts, and we there. we made. I don't. This isn't. I don't think this oh, is a breach of anything. People. Yeah, but this is the new. Se- oh crap! You're right. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna steal our ideas, and then someone's gonna shut it down. We just made fake Sony, accounts, don't and then shut us down. to make get a free week of PS Now, and then we made alternate accounts beyond yeah. that. If you're gonna do it, do it discreetly, like we did. Don't tell people. <laughs>
like S- we did. <laughs> sloppy. <laughs> yeah, don't put it in your podcast. <laughs> so that's the uh, problem with that. Sly Cooper. Yeah, Sly Cooper's great. Damn. And I think that's going to be a great show. Has potential. Has potential. Potential. Well, the last game, I didn't have this in my notes, okay. but we've been talking about Little Planet and Dreams will be coming up to Maybe. be made hopefully so dreams if you don't know is don't it's know. it's like a game engine something like the things that they've it's a they've game showed creation you can literally create so far almost anything they've made like life like real looking replicas you can make a game inside of a game they made little big planet 1 the first level with ease it's like inception but real so if you with have a video game yeah for the it's going to be out for the ps4 so if you have, you have any um Create a bone in your body. Create a bone or interest in creating a game or something. Go pick up Dreams when it comes out. The beta, we're hoping for the beta to come Hopefully out so. either this next week or it'll or be December, December like 7th for the Game Awards. Hopefully. They said Hopefully. it's coming in this year, by the end of this year. I I'm re- hoping so. That's going to be so cool, though. That, be, oh. To make anything. Literally make anything. Yeah. We'll make the Shenanigans podcast animated. Dude, <laughs> and, that, actually, that would be sick. And that would give away. It's gonna our, happen now. Yeah, <laughs> it's a fake dis- undisclosed location that they want to see. Undisclosed location. That's gonna be the name it's of our gonna, series. Like when it pops if, up. If we got it, location. but if we get, if we actually had like a studio, like that would be disclosed or something like a business, it would just say like "Welcome yeah. to undis- Undisclosed Studio" or something like that. Yes. That would be cool. Dude. Yeah, I can't wait for Dreams. Dreams is gonna be so cool. Oh man. Oh but my yeah. gosh. Well, look, the Browns boast the top two candidates for Offensive Rookie of the Year. They're saying because who because Nick, Nick Chubb, Chubb he and has, Baker because he has more rushing yards than Saquon even though Saquon has about, a lot of receiving uh, yards. They're saying Baker and Nick Chubb are the top two co rookies of the year. He'd be defensive rookie of the year. Okay, so you're just talking about most likely. Yeah. yeah, this is just the th- they're, so they're saying that they're already the top two highest oh. graded. Nick Chubb has played Dude. four games as the starter. Four freaking games. And you're already talking about that. Well, <laughs> this is the sport started four, four games. Yeah, we're just we're okay. going back to sport. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> many stuff nicheless. So. <laughs> So that's um, the yeah. dreams. I the dream. The dream. Welcome to the dream. Welcome to the dream. Yeah, I can't wait to play that. To the beta or anything. That's gonna be so cool to me. You maybe we'll remake Sly Dude. Cooper. Maybe we'll make our own Sly Cooper cartoon. Maybe dude. we'll make Jack Four. What everyone's been claiming for. We could make a shenanigans cartoon. I know, dude. What would that look like? It would look like just us, us. sitting in chairs <laughs> in the studio with headphones and making the... up the things that we are gonna do <laughs> for our podcast it's an episode with us before the yeah. podcast and then it goes live it's like seinfeld when he goes onto the stage uh-huh. at the end of the end but then it just goes like and welcome to the and then it, yes. the credits kind of roll in <laughs> whoa we just invented something live don't oh. steal it we're we're stealing no we're it's ours you can't have it we're copyright ours trademark Strike. this <laughs> You're going down, whoever you are, trying to and steal our ideas. You know that little circle with a TM? Yeah. Put it on there. Trademark. We, we, we got those. We got that. Mine. And a smiley face. <laughs> Just because. Ours. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> Just for fun. Yeah, so I can't wait to play that. I can't wait to play everything. There's so many games to play. There's so much fun to be at. Smash Bros. is going to come out. Oh, my gosh. We touched on this right before the last part because we were, like, just kind of stumbling around. But Super Smash Bros. is going to be on the December 7th, which is the game award. So I'm assuming it'll be released or they'll mm-hmm. have something major there. I can't wait. Dude, Smash Bros. Smash Bros. is the best. Did you watch the trailer? No. The, like, the, the it's like the, the dying light. They're, like, people... Did you, do you want me to tell you about no. it? No. Okay. I'll watch it after this. Um, well, I don't want to say anything then, Good. but we'll talk about a theory Okay. after. after. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll bring it up in the next podcast. Maybe not. But you know, if, you, if you've seen it, and you, then just look, up, uh, just look up a couple of theories or something okay. on, on that. Not you. The people me? that have already seen it. I'll look at it. I'll, I'll tell <laughs> you, because if you're going to watch it right here, then I'll just tell you. <laughs> but after you've seen it. And we can't do that, because we're doing it live right now. Live! Okay. That covers that. We covered Super Spot Butter. Everything. There's so many things to talk about. There's so many things to cover, but we've covered so many a things lot. in this episode. We get. Da, 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 da. I don't even want to recap it, but nope. I want to make sure we have. Everything. We got sports. We got oh, movies. No. We got games. We got. We got cartoons. it all. We got it all. It's done. You Boom. want you check mark done. You looking for a podcast that covers everything you might ever want to hear? Well, we do it we here. It. We do it here. here. Those are probably like the four or we five have niche lists. The four or five, the niche list that we can cover. Excellent. Yep. We can do that flawlessly. We did it. 
Check. Now, bird watching stuff like that, that would take we're more still research. Working on it. <laughs> yeah. We're I'm working still on looking it. into bank robbery. <laughs> we're still and arson. arson. We're but still that it's just bird watching. It's hard to get into. Look out for that one. <laughs> it's hard to get into arson. It just takes some time. You gotta find that. You gotta group. know it's 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 you all networking. It's networking. You, you gotta know? you gotta find the you gotta find you gotta someone. Find the black market. Got to find the dark web, yeah, and then you got to connect with those people. It's not easy to get into it's it. It's Really difficult. He's we've, he's been trying. He's been sending out emails. He's been he sent out headshots for the. True. He's like, I can True. do this, and it cost me two hundred bucks for that headshot. Yeah, dude, headshots are expensive. <laughs> he's calling. He paid hey, two hundred just but, for a headshot. Yeah, and but luckily makeup and, and hairstylist was, was included. included. But he's paying like fifty bucks for it each was, additional image. It's just dude, he couldn't even. It was ridiculous. But yeah, so I'm looking into yeah. arson right now. And, uh, yeah, but if you're, you know, you get, you better, you don't have, the problem is you don't have a good art, you don't have a good criminal resume. You're right, you're right. So that's, I haven't done so you're, you're, you're probably not going to be able to achieve one of the high tier arson that's groups. True. And that's so I think maybe you just you, it's because I'm a hobby, yeah, arsonist. Yes, you, you and, hobby arsonist is hard to like, they can't take you seriously. Also, as much. I haven't profited yet, so maybe you I'm get hobby stage, right? Yeah, now. hobby stage. Maybe you get into a lower, lower tier criminal arson group. Style. No, you can still get like arson, but like some light arson, you light know, arson. you know, like maybe I don't know, old houses, a tree, tree. Do you, you know, burn a, a park? Just a uh, yeah, like but barely, just, just like, like just, just a little like, bit, like a tree, a little bit, park. yeah, just Try enough. Try and light the mulch on fire. Just enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know we're joking. Please, I hope. <laughs> uh, I hope you're old enough to read. This between is the a lines. joke. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> boop boop. What's that? Oh, oh no. shoot. <laughs> They're on to us. Where's Kamala? How we no. right now? We're, hurt. We're listening to this live. How are you doing that? <laughs> we know you're in there. Come out with your hands up. Just give us Drew Decker, the expert of Wait, life. Guys, no, please. <laughs> Wait, Drew Decker, the expert of life, like the world? No, the board no, game. Oh, yeah, we got him. I mean, no, 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 we got him. I'm not in here. We're here, he's in the arson. No, I'm not. I, it's the part of the game, I swear. <laughs> the game? <laughs> it's in the board game. He was there. He's the expert of life. Trust me, he wouldn't mess up like this. I promise. <laughs> Who are we yelling to? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Over. Over. Look, he sounds like he's a good man. <laughs> Over. I think he's clear. He's nasalist. <laughs> nasalist. <laughs> They're out. Uh, they're gone. We're good. That's scary. We could also do that for 40 minutes if we had to. <laughs> we could do sketches live. <laughs> we should do one time. We, one time. We should do a completely scripted a scripted podcast like an That'd audio novel or something like that and what we could actually edit it and put like give your characters and music yeah. and everything that would be really we'll cool special episode of shenanigans special sometime once we figure that out wait till we get all that everything set up now i'm excited for that we'll, we'll see that sometime because we don't edit here nope you know what i was actually real quick yes go for it. <laughs> well oh, real quick we, we're real quick 50, we are 50 <laughs> minutes in <laughs> let's just cover something else you know it's um, fine I don't have school. So, so they were t- like they say podcasts that edit, like they respect people that like edit that mm. or like the review people, but I don't understand why that is cuz anyone can make themselves sound yeah. funny That's with true. editing. Anyone can edit around. Sound it's like it's like too. it's like acting. You can make a dog look good if you just edit yeah. around acting, <laughs> you know? But to do that, to do this live for 50 plus minutes that's, and to hopefully be entertaining for I whoever. I mean, I'll be entertained and that's really the bottom I'm line. And we're having fun. We're trying to make people laugh. We're having fun. But to, but to do this live for like an hour yeah. with no edits or anything around that, that seems, I respect that more that's, than someone that just edit around impressive. them yeah. doing like a show. Like it's become, it's it becomes like a YouTube video that you're doing that, that essentially. Point, yeah. Or just like it's I don't know it doesn't make any sense because you could just do di- you could do different takes you could do different <laughs> things but we're really just going in the wind. We are in the wind. <laughs> we're in the wind. You'll never catch us. Uh-huh. <laughs> they're, in, they're in the wind. Arson boys in the wind. Arson boy and his buddy are in the wind. We don't know why he's trying to escape with arson boy. <laughs> arson boy <laughs> tried to light a fire. Tried to light a park on fire. He was unsuccessful. Just the mulch. He we were, just tried to light the mulch on fire. <laughs> we were unsuccessful in catching him. He was also unsuccessful in lighting the mulch. <laughs> it was funny because he really thought he could light the mulch. <laughs> it was it wet. Was wet. <laughs> it did. Literally, it was snowing out. It did nothing. <laughs> it was quite If anything, he dried it for us. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got, <laughs> we've got him on intent to commit arson. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well. So I think we've covered everything the nicheless people the get. The nicheless. <laughs> All right, this has been the Shenanigans Podcast. Yes, sir. <laughs> we, we're moving into we the outro. We are out. We do everything here. Oh, it's my slogan. Everything and anything. We do everything here. 
We this... cover everything, and this has been the Shenanigans Podcast. Catch us next week. You've enjoyed it. Don't you have? I'm like, saying not, comment, not and if, subscribe. Not I hope you've enjoyed it. We I know you've enjoyed right it. Now. Hopefully. We're live? Where? On Twitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come and join us on Twitch. We're live right now. Right now. One day. Mm. <laughs> if you're listening to this at the right time, there's potential. We we're live, live on Twitch. <laughs> depends. It really all depends. Who knows? So, have a good time. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a, have a great evening. day. Good e- if you're listening to the evening. That's true. <laughs> if you're listening to 8 it. 8 a.m. Have right a good when evening. It came out. <laughs> and like, Dang, I'm really looking forward to my <laughs> evening now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Potential to be great. So, that's been great. Oh wait! Do you want to close me? So I, you, this is your job because okay. I got I got the slogan. I forgot about that. I got I got so excited. I love I love going. I love going. What to do? What to do? How I got So close it and then you give it to me. All right, we've done this like multiple times, but thank you for joining us. One this time. has been the Shenanigans Podcast. Yes, Catch us every Tuesday, whenever it goes live, because it's different every time, but Tuesdays mostly. Um, Always Tuesdays, most of the time. Yeah. Thank you for listening, and if you really enjoyed it, make sure you rate us oh, five stars. We don't say this anymore. We forgot about that. You are welcome. I guess it's important. Um, and share with your friends. So because that's important. This has been the Shenanigans we just want to make you podcast. Laugh. Tristan, are you ready for this? I'm always ready. Give me a hit it with the slogan. I'd never done a crazy thing in my entire life until that night. So why is it when a man kills another man in battle, it's called heroic? Yet if a man kills another man in the heat of passion, it's called murder. <laughs> 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 <laughs>